Back at Coors Field, top of the ninth inning, the Rockies enjoying an 11-5 lead over the Pittsburgh Pirates. Upstairs with my partner Jeff Houston. I'm Drew Goodman. We go down to the Rockies spring training facility in Scottsdale, and Jeff Breidich via phone will join us, the Rockies general manager. Just a few minutes ago, the Rockies took Riley Pint, a high school right-hander from Overland Park, Kansas. And Jeff, you and I were talking about him uh, a few weeks ago. I know you had the opportunity to go and see him, and Billy Schmidt seen him. Your whole staff has seen him a number of times. This guy's unusual, isn't it? Well, yeah, we've uh, we've done a really nice job scouting him for a long period of time. Um, our our area scout there, Brett Baldwin, has has known Riley Pint for years and years and years. Um, you know, in, in term before Brett was a scout for us, he was very active in that area as a coach, and um, and so he knows Riley. He knows the Pint family extremely well. Uh, we were at every single one of of Riley's games. Somebody from the Rockies was and. We had multiple opportunities to see him and, and sit down with Riley and his family uh, and try to get to know them as well as, pro as, well as we could. So um, I think the process was good, and we're certainly excited to have him be a Colorado Rocky. And what's unusual a lot of times for these high school kids is somebody that can already hit triple digits. I mean, to have a powerful arm like that is, is pretty unique. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, the scary thing is it's, it's getting more and more common. You know, it's uh, this, this kind of massive wave of, of velocity that we're seeing, not, not just at the major league level, um, but, you know, the trickle down into college and, and especially high school now. And, um, you know, who knows what's going to come of it. But uh, the great thing about Riley is that if you look at his frame, you look at his body, you look at the way the body works, um, he's still a young man. You know, he hasn't even grown into his man strength, but it's a a huge, uh, thin, not thin, but skinny at this point, frame that can add some strength as he ages. Um, and he just does things very naturally as an athlete. Um, it's not a stiff body. He's a, he's a good runner. He can jump. He can play basketball. All those things that he does can hopefully lead to um, really good things as a, as a pro. Was there a relative amount of surprise that he was still on the board there because I know these things are it's always fluid but you know a month and a half ago a lot of the mock drafts I read is this kid was was no question because he's hit 102 was going to go number one and you know things do change and every team looks at things differently were you guys mildly surprised that he was there well yeah you never know right you don't know until today um, until you hear Commissioner Manfred uh, actually announcing the picks what's actually going to happen um, as you get closer to, to today, you know, you, you start to hear things and you start to figure out uh, what teams ahead of you are, are likely trying to do. Um, and, and it's not always just pure, true, you know, 100% evaluation. Sometimes money enters the lot. Most of the time, if not all the time, money enters the picture. And, and the way that the draft is set up now, teams are trying to uh, spread out money at times and, and make decisions that aren't always just about pure talent or pure ability. So. All of that combined, you're, you're, you're never really truly sure what's going to happen until the, uh, the day actually arrives. Did you do much rearranging of your draft board this morning, or was it pretty much all done last night as far as, uh, you know, your projections and where you had your top 50 to 100 players? You know, our, our scouts, Billy Schmidt and, and Mark Gustafson and, and Danny Montgomery and the rest of our cross-checkers and then all of our area scouts, you know, have been here. We've all been here down at Salt River for a week, and um, you know, it's uh, it, that that board creation process uh, happens over over days, and you know, you tweak it towards the end. But really, we, we pretty much had our board set up by last night, and I think we felt pretty good about it. And um, you know, and then it's just you know, wait and see, see what happens to it. Yeah, you know, this is a natural question any draft in any sport, but. What kind of depth is there? Because you guys are now working on the next couple of picks that, that are coming up. You have three, I believe, in the first 45. Um, what does it look like overall um, going forward? Well, there'll be, there'll be some baseball players there. You know, um, who knows? I, there's there's so many teams this year. This year is kind of a unique year. You know, there's a lot of teams with multiple picks very close together um, towards the end of the first round. You know, so how they, you know, monetize that and how they decide to strategize and use those picks I, nobody really knows until all of that happens um, I think the draft is it's got a lot of talented high school kids um, and I think that it wouldn't you know it's not going to surprise me if there's a run on, on high school players here through the middle to the latter part of the first round um, you know but you know it's all in the eye of the beholder you know and so 
who really knows until we see. I, we'll, we'll get very good players at 38 and 45. We're excited to make the you know the, the last two picks here. Uh, we have to wait for a while, but uh, they'll be good picks. Yeah, well, it's exciting. This is a kid that a lot has been written about, talked about. It's always an exciting day. It's a long process to get here. Uh, as you well know, Jeff, to the big leagues. But congratulations on the pick, and uh, and good luck the rest of the afternoon. We'll be talking more in, in the next couple of days. And the Rockies, uh, by the way, are one out away from uh, putting down the Pirates. So it's it's yeah. been a good day all the way around. Thanks, guys. Wrap up the win, please. Thank you very much. All right. Right. You got it. All Thanks, right. Jeff, Jeff Breidich, Rockies general manager, joining us from Salt River Fields.